So there is Lobster King where I'm always shooting. Yeah? Just so you know where I am. This is Keomoku Street. There's Domino's. I think that's a church over there. And then McDonald's on Keomoku. This is right on Keomoku and Leona Street. Can you see that? So right across the street is a restaurant that I'm going to showcase. Again, we're going down Keamoku. I'm walking towards Ala Moana. McDonald's there on the right. And the place is called Don I Don. Still a new restaurant. They're having their grand opening celebration going on yet. This is the main entrance on Keamoku. You see the lights up. So we're showing this to you before we go in so you know the difference, what it looks like in the light. And then we'll show you this when we're done eating so you know what it looks like in the dark. They got all kinds of specials. I haven't tried it yet. I only heard how good the meat is. Just looking at the prices, I like it already. This will make you stay tuned, yeah? $9.99 for lunch, $12.99 for dinner. They got a new menu out. So once more, this is the front. Let me take you around to the back side. Here is the back entrance. Lots of parking, so you don't have to worry about that. And you can probably walk in the back door like this for Don E Don, Korean barbecue restaurant. So we're a little blown away with all the stuff in this restaurant. It's, it's, it's grand opening, but there's a lot of things. Crazy, huh? Hi. Yes. <laughs> but we love this kind of food. Korean food. Right now they're cooking something here on the yakiniku pan. There's certain things you can order and they'll have to cook it like that. They got all the panchan side orders, which we love too. But keep in mind, you can order most of your stuff off the menu and then they're gonna cook it for you. Uh, here's some things they're bringing out that you may recognize like this tofu soup, which is still super hot. And the pancake that you've seen before. That's kinda like a, like a one ton pork cash kind of thing. But they've got all the tables separated and they do have the glasses marked. So the social distance thing thing is intact and they're all safe. But I mentioned that they make things for you on the menu as well. So they have menus to order. They have the kitchen in the back and you can even do takeout order. And we'll put the number on the screen for you guys in case you want to do that. If you like what you see. Hi. Are you Hi. She's in the back there. She's. I like it when the owner's cooking. That means it's good food. Don't eat don't. So I'm going to let her cook because she's going to bring out food for us. But here's another familiar face from Ohanahale Marketplace. Esther, she's right here. Hi, Hi Esther. <laughs> so we're going to feature the Ohana Poke House too. But this is your auntie's place, yeah? Right. Well, thank you for inviting us. Thank you. Here's Yon, the owner, bringing out the barbecue spare ribs. Spare ribs. It's still sizzling, the pork. Look at that. That looks so, like, tender. Okay, that's your specialty, huh? I like that. And then we have our cook here, cutting up our meat, the yakiniku meat that they're cooking for us. Wow, they treat you good here. As well as I mentioned, we like to have all these sides when we come to a Korean restaurant. And look how much they give. You don't have to feel bad because they give you a lot. Sometimes they don't give a lot. And I love my lettuce. This is the chicken. Let me show a close-up of this spicy chicken and you can get it as spicy as you want yeah I noticed they have different spice levels and then here's another famous dish that people especially locals like it's the tripe and intestines Yon when are you gonna stop coming out more food okay this is spare ribs what's different about this it's kalbi Short ribs. Short ribs. Oh, that looks so good. It's sizzling. And now this is the uh, salt, sea salt, spare ribs. You can hear it making noise. Listen to this as I go around 360. 
on the sea salt spare ribs with the onions. It's kind of like smell a vision and hear a vision too. I know everybody at home is just watering at the mouth. This is the pork belly as they cook it for us. And then now they're cooking the intestines and the tripe for us too. We're seeing this almost live on Spectrum OC 16. Look at all this food. And we're gonna eat it all. Well, one of the kids, you can see there, Parker, are you liking the food over there? Okay, <laughs> the kids are eating already. But uh, Tori Blue had a little treat, they brought her some Sweet potato. Yeah, so nice sweet potato, a little dessert for her while we're shooting. So I'm gonna try this kalbi, because I'm a big kalbi fan. And uh, we already took a bunch to give to the kids, but let me try. It is tastier, I have to say. If you don't trust me, Very tender. Mm. Yeah? Something, Very tender. Something different about this. You gotta try it. That's then, fun. Being local, you have to have a little bit of rice. <laughs> mm. Then this is the uh, chicken, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try some of this. Oh man, this is so good. I like the seaweed pun, John. I'm not a sauce guy. I know the restaurant wants me to eat all the sauces, but... I like the sauces. <laughs> <laughs> See? This is the pork. Good? Okay. I like that. Okay. Now I saved the best for last. This is their specialty. It is their... Marinated marinated spare ribs. I let it cool down already. So let's try some of this. It, it doesn't even look like there's bones in there. A lot of times you eat spare ribs and it's only bones. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's all meat. That's all meat right there. Right. I don't know where to start. Mm. That looks good. That's good. See? The waitress is cutting it for me. She's a professional cutter. Okay, so the rice guy. I'll let my wife try this while she's eating and the kids are eating in the back. Let me tell you about the pricing. So you're gonna spend about, for dinner time, yeah, it's a little more. Look how big the servings are. Uh, I already shared some of this with the copy with the kids, but it's 25 to 26 bucks for an order, but it serves at least two, yeah? Maybe two to three, four people. I'm not kidding, all of the different things on there. The panchan is always free. It changes every night depending how they feel, and that's good, keep it fresh, right? So expect to get prices you're not used to here because it's a lot better and the food is good doesn't make sense yeah, the food is better tastier but the prices are a little lower you have to try it for yourself to understand now I'm gonna let you see one more time how much food we got on this table back on the other side I want to eat so I'm gonna finish up this segment because there's so much food but I want to explain to you again that the name is Don Yi Don which in Chinese Don means pig Hence the pig, and it also means money. Good luck, yes, yeah? so they can be profitable, but also save you money too, here at Don E Don. Once more, we'd like to thank the staff. Thank you for your service at Don E Don and Yon for all the great food. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on Tiny TV and tell all of Hawaii how good it is here. Don E Don, so let's show you once more where it is. Now you see it's a lot darker at night. So if you come up Keo Moku Street, Lobster King is up there, right where my finger is. It goes up to Keo Moku Mountain Way, Mauka. 
But if you drive towards the ocean, Makai, towards Ala Moana, you see McDonald's, that's right there. When you just drive up, you're gonna see the yellow sign and that bright yellow sign that says Don E Don, and it is their grand opening yet. They are still brand new. That's why we're promoting them. We want to help them out here on Frozen Funds Tiny TV on Spectrum OC 16. Here's some of their information. I'm going to leave it up on the screen. Their address, by the way, in case you want to Google it or put it on your GPS, 919 Keomoku Street. And that's their phone number. I, I've had it on the screen already, but we're going to just show it to you on their business card. Looks so nice, yeah? 379-1993. 379-1993. It's Don E. Don. You're just going to look for the yellow signs right across McDonald's on Keomoku Street and experience what we did. The good pricing, the tasty food, like none other, no other Korean restaurant, at Don E. Don. Wait, we're not done yet. I wanted to mention one good thing about Don E. Don is that they give so much food. We fed all the kids ourselves and we still got plenty leftovers. Woo! Don E. Don. Locals will love it. I promise. Check them out right on Keomoku across McDonald's. And you can either take out and call the number or you can go visit like we did. Don E. Don. We'll be back for sure. And now, I'm done. E done.